Hello everyone, this is Tim with Trufe, and it's all about the pistons today. No, not the internal combustion engine kind. I'm talking about piston filling fountain pens. This is another video in our fountain pen basics series, but if you're an experienced user, just hang on. I have two or three tips today that might be helpful reminders for you, or you might even learn something new. But especially if you're new to the fountain pen world and haven't yet discovered piston filling fountain pens, this video is for you. So let's get started. So what are the advantages of using a piston filler? Well, there are several. One, it holds a lot of ink, more than most any other converter would. The other is, it is really, really easy to use. It's a super simple filling system and it is very reliable. It is much easier to draw ink into a piston filling fountain pen than it is even the best of converters. And some of those converters are really not very good at all. And the third is that it is just a little cleaner to fill a piston filling fountain pen, at least it is for me. So what we're gonna show you today are a couple of tips for making filling a fountain, a piston filling fountain pen a little easier. And then the third tip is just a reminder, maybe especially for those who are fountain pen enthusiasts and very experienced users, just a helpful reminder for them. Now there are a lot of methods for putting ink into a fountain pen. There are the normal cartridge type fountain pens like this Lamy Studio. It's a cartridge converter, but I happen to have a cartridge in it today. We have another one of my favorite ones to use, which aren't as common and maybe not as popular, but a lot of fun. They're called eyedropper filling pens. And this Moon Man is only fillable that way by eyedropper, but you can get a lot of ink in these and it's very, very easy to clean and, and easy to, to, uh, to fill. There are vacuum filling fountain pens. I don't have one of those with me today, but you might have heard of that, and especially if you're an experienced user, you know all about that. But today, like I said earlier, is all about the piston. So why a piston filling fountain pen? I mentioned earlier, it really is one of my favorite methods. In fact, it is my favorite uh, fountain pen filling system. And it's because it is easy to use, it's reliable, they tend to hold a lot of ink, and they're a little less messy to fill. A good piston filling fountain pen is just easy to get ink into. This is a Twisby 580AL. This is the new one in Prussian blue, uh, new as uh, this filming. It is one of my favorite piston filling fountain pens, but I'm showing it to you today because it's also what's called a demonstrator. So it's clear and easy to see how this mechanism works. So as I twist this cap, you can see the piston coming down and then back up. And filling a piston filler is just as easy as that. You begin with the piston all the way down and as you draw it up, draws ink into the fountain pen. And again, experienced users know all about this, but if you're new to the fountain pen world, this may be new to you. So let's talk about a couple of tips for knowing how to fill a piston filling fountain pen. One of the easiest methods, I think, for doing so. And then that third tip is gonna be something that even experienced users forget sometimes. So let's get to those. First thing I want you to notice is the filling hole right down here, sometimes called a breather hole. This has to be down inside the ink. So if you're going to fill a fountain pen, any fountain pen that has a cartridge converter in it or a piston filler, you're gonna to need to be sure that the nib is submerged at least that far in ink. Some people suggest all the way up to the section. I've done that, maybe everybody has. It makes a little bit of a mess, but you're for sure gonna get ink into it. And as you dip the nib into the ink with the piston, you start with the piston all the way down, dip it into the ink. I'm going to demonstrate this in just a bit. And then bring the piston back up. It fills with ink. The second tip I have for you today is this gem of an ink bottle made by Twisby. And the reason I'm showing you this today is because if you've never purchased 
one of these Twisby ink bottles, you might not know what a very helpful accessory this is. So Twisby, of course, made these for their own pens. If I take off the top, you'll see it has a special section here, a little hole right at the top. That is for their vacuum filling fountain pens. So if you wanted to buy a vacuum filler Twisby pen, you simply insert it into that little hole and draw the ink up. Well, what if you don't have one of those? I don't, for instance. Well, that is what the second system is for. And this is tip number two. Filling a piston filler fountain pen, you might want to grab one of these Twisby ink bottles. Twisby sells them empty, just like this. And inside, the little magic is this sleeve right here. It's a little cup with holes in the side that allow the ink, when you turn the bottle upside down, that allow the ink to fill to the top. And then you simply take your piston filling fountain pen, any brand, place it down inside the plastic sleeve, draw the ink up, no fuss, no mess. It's a really wonderful way to fill a fountain pen. So that's tip number two, filling a piston filling fountain pen using a Twisby ink bottle is a joy. It's a dream. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to be filling it with one of my very, very favorite blue black inks. This is from Pilot. It is from the Hiroshi Zuku line, and this is Shinkai. It, again, it's one of my very, very favorite inks. And it's easy to see uh, as it's going into the bottle. So that's another reason why I chose it. So I find it much easier to remove the little plastic cap. All a person has to do is pour in the ink. You can pour any amount you want, but since this bottle is nearly empty, I'm just going to pour all we have here. All right next, we're going to take the plastic uh, filling cup and just place it right down inside. And by the way, this bottle has been filled many, many, many times. I mentioned that because I wanted you to know how easy it is to clean it. I'm going to screw this cap all the way down snug. You're going to see why in just a second. So with the cap secured on the top and the ink inside the bottle, I am simply going to turn it upside down. I do this so that the ink can flow through the slots on the outside of that uh, plastic cap. Turn it back over, remove, excuse me, remove. Now we're doing this live, so God, I hope it works really well. It always does. Remember to take a, you take the piston, place it all the way down, and remember this breathing hole at the middle of the nib. But I don't really have to worry about that as much. I'm just simply going to put it inside, down inside that cap, and draw that piston up. See how easy that is? Now this was tip number three. And that is, just because the piston filling pen holds a lot of ink, it doesn't mean you have to fill the pen entirely. And that's what we experienced fountain pen users sometimes forget. Because a lot of ink is an advantage, especially if it's one you really, really like, like the Shinkai, and you know you want to write a lot with it. But let's say you just want to use an ink for a little bit and you already know that you're going to change it out for a different color, different brand. You don't have to commit to an entire piston full of ink. And that's what we sometimes forget. Fill it to the level that you want. It will work just fine. Now here's another tip for all of us to remember, and that is that once you've filled it to the level you think you want, you need to evacuate back out a drop, excuse me, went wrong way, two or three drops of ink, just like that. It helps keep the pressure inside the pen. It starts the ink flow the way that you need it. You're going to need to clean the top of that nib just a little bit. 
like this. I guess you don't have to, but I always do. Now, ink is going to flow through the top, so it's a little tricky to get it very, very clean. And then that's it. This pen is ready to write. So just to, just to recap, see what I did there? A piston filling fountain pen is one of the easiest methods to use. It holds a lot of ink or not. It's easy to clean, and if you use something like this Twisby ink bottle, it makes the job even easier. It can hold any type of ink you want from any manufacturer, including Twisby's own. But it's a really, really nice way to put ink into a fountain pen. So, piston filling fountain pens are a great thing to have. The Twisby ink bottle is a wonderful way to, to, to put ink inside that pen. And just remember that because it holds a lot of ink, doesn't mean you have to commit to the entire piston. You put in there exactly what you want. So this is Tim with True Fame. You can get the new Twisby on our website or many of the other pens that Twisby sells. The Shinkai ink I know is also available. So go take a look, find your next pen, your next ink. Remember, happy writing and be incredible.